Hi guys. Hi guys. It's Dan and Elaine Taylor. How are you all doing? Hope you're well. We are down in uh, Balmy Banus in the south coast of Spain and uh, the sun's going down. Yeah, it is. Just cooling down now nicely. It's absolutely beautiful. We've spent uh, all day on the beach and the reason for shooting this quick video is uh, a few people today have sh you know, reached out to us uh, DMs and asked us about this commercial thing. You know, commercial property, what is it all about? And if I'm investing in residential or a residential equivalent, you know, it could be a buy to let, buy refurbished mortgage, or it could be service accommodation, or it could be uh, HMOs. Is commercial something they should be looking at uh, going forward next year and for the next decade? And the answer is one and only one response I could ever give. And it's unequivocally, absolutely, yes. yes. <laughs> and the reason for that is that a hybrid strategy, mixed use, mixed tenure, strategy stacking, and what I call structural stacking, is the way to extract the most value from assets uh, where you have mixed use upstairs and downstairs within the same property and it's a way to not only accelerate values but accelerate cash flows and potentially get the ground floor for free in some circumstances not all the time it's not too shabby that is not too shabby and um you know we may have a couple of case studies if anybody's interested maybe tag yourself in below and if uh, if we get enough interest we'll do a few real life case studies of commercial property deals um where we've mixed you know we have a mixed use mixed tenure uh residential upstairs that could be commercial upstairs and commercial downstairs or resi upstairs and commercial downstairs um it really is a great strategy where you know you can really force appreciation get those capital values up and what what's the reason for that well the reason for that is to increase your equity and why you want to increase your equity is to decrease your risk decrease your gearing decrease your loan to value uh to create a safe investment going forward because remember when we started getting into property it was for probably i would imagine time and freedom money as well but really time and freedom uh, and so you want to create safe investments going forward especially when we're coming into the bear market um, who knows when the next correction is going to come but you know let's let's assume it is going to come at some point and prepare ourselves and, and create safe lowly geared investments by accelerating that you know that capital value and decrease your gearing to do that to enable that and there's one thing um i'll maybe give you one snippet about commercial yeah, you've property done, you've done a little bit of drawing on the sand down, haven't we? <laughs> we certainly have but the question is can i actually turn the camera around um to show you but no we can't so <laughs> that's incredible but anyway uh a little um formula i like to use is c equals m squared plus lh plus t now c is commercial so commercial equals m squared which is more money um, plus LH which is less hassle and T which is you get your time back now in terms of more money why would there be more money in commercial well simply because of something that's known as gross equals net where if you're an existing property investor you're probably akin you know you probably realize when you look at your P&L profit and loss statement there's a lot of cost coming up there there's maintenance refurbs insurance agents fees and all that kind of thing and in commercial, what we do is we can, you know, bag all those costs up and transfer it back to the tenants with something called an FRI lease. So that is, it does what it says on the tin, it's a full repairing insuring lease. And that enables you to bundle all those costs up and transfer them back to the tenants, leaving you with gross income equals net income, with the only thing to come up off is the cost of capital, which is a thing of beauty if you ask me. In terms of uh, less hassle, in commercial, we're dealing with more professional tenants, obviously, and we're dealing with, um, obviously, professional managers as well. And the bonus, the, I suppose the icing on the cake or the cherry on the cake, is the fact that the uh, professional managers, managers don't cost you anything. In residential, some, you know, obviously they do cost you to, if you want to outsource it, but in commercial, that charge can be charged back to the tenants as long as you have an FRI, and depending on the drafting, obviously. So, and it, also less hassle, you have a property in Perth and then been there for six years. Yeah, I mean, that's a, less an, hassle. absolutely a, an unusual one, but that's because of a certain type of tenant profile. And, um, you know, it's a wonderful tenant, it's absolutely fantastic. Never been there for six years. We've got other properties as well that we've never been for a hell of a long period of time. But also a reason for less hassle, professional managers, more professional, more business-like tenants, which is great. 
uh, and also back to that thing called the FRI lease. The FRI lease really, you know, transfers all the hassle, the risks, the costs back to the tenant. And because of that, obviously, you get your time back. Yeah. So um, That's what we're right here. <laughs> so if you um, you know, if there's if commercial is something you want to look at, I really, you really strongly advise if you already do residential combining residential with commercial to get that combined hybrid strategy is, uh, is something that, you know that you know you owe it to yourself to your next generation to be understanding getting knowledge about um, so if you want to know more about commercial property and how you can combine it with residential already then uh, tag yourself in below and let me know and if there's enough interest we'll um, do another video we'll do some commercial beach club sessions anyway that's uh, it's been wonderful um, I've been Dan, she's Happy been Elaine, and you guys have been awesome. See you all soon. Bye.